Yeah, well, thank you so much for being here. Are you kidding? I'm just so happy for you. I'm good. Well, thanks. Because you're great. Oh, well, thank you so much. Oh, well, that's crazy talk. No, it's true. You brought tears to my eyes on one episode of a certain show that will re remain unnamed. <laughs> that's what I do as a comedian. You did. I was like, whoa, <laughs> I love that. Cry. You did. You made me cry. Well, thanks. We've got a new uh, thing going here. That's we're, great. we're thrilled to be here. We're. You're looking great. Thank you. You seem, you know, it's funny, uh, just before the show, yes. I don't know if you found it funny. I, you know, I, uh, if someone's on the show who I know has been on before and we're friendly, I go back to say hi. Yeah. And I, uh, I'm pretty sure I knocked first and opened the door. Well, so somebody opened it not noticing I was half, not, yeah. There was a moment. There was I a moment there where I walked in <laughs> on Jennifer Aniston who had her pants about halfway up. Um, <laughs> It's the greatest thing that ever happened to me. I, I have to say... It's the greatest thing <laughs> that ever happened to me. I'm it was leaving quite show a moment. I actually yeah. got, I even got a victory dance out of you. I was dan- I had the complete inappropriate <laughs> response. I'm supposed to say, oh, I'm so sorry for judgment. Instead, I started going like this. <laughs> I thought that so was... So immature, yeah. No, I think now we just keep getting to know each other more and more. I like it. I, you know, it's funny, we, uh, we work here at the Warner Brothers lot. This is yes. where we do our new show. And uh, this is where you shot Friends, and your presence is everywhere. Every three feet, there's a plaque that says, this is where one of the friends stood and had coffee. This is where... Yes. Uh, we don't want you to forget. Yeah, do you have... You must have nice memories of this. It's, of this. I come on this lot, and I love it. The guys are like, hey, Jen. It's really sweet. You see yeah. where, you know, ER used to shoot. That's right. And, you know, all of, the, all of them. And it's, Everybody you know, loves Raymond was here. do you ever think I'd love to come and work on that lot again? I do, actually. Lot? I would love to come back to this lot. This, mm -hmm. was, this lot has been very, very good to me. Well, you're always, <laughs> you're always welcome if you want to come by and work on this show in any capacity. Work you on could, this show? Yeah, why not? I you could help it. out. What can I do? Could I be your, like, uh, your uh, personal groomer? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, you could. <laughs> no, that's not happening. <laughs> You're not to touch me. Uh, yeah. I'd, I'd keep the beard in check. Yeah. What do you? Uh, I trim it. I like you, the beard. I you, like what's happening. You're okay with the beard. The yeah. beard, though. The beard, because uh, some ladies like a beard. Some ladies do not like a beard. Where well, do you fall? I kind of fall. It depends. I mean, it's it's it's. I don't know how the, the missus feels about it because it it becomes a little scratchy. There mm -hmm. is something. There's nothing better than that fresh, freshly shaven, soft skin to yeah. rub your little well, face. She against. hasn't touched me in a year. Oh. Uh, <laughs> That made, that made up for it right there. <laughs> no, but, but I, not, but I enjoy the beard. Oh, good. I well, think it's, it mans you up. <laughs> <laughs> not that you weren't in a... No, so it's pretty I'll clear that needed to happen. Uh, I want to ask you quickly, uh, I don't know, this is just a part of your life, as everyone knows, the tabloids just... People are fascinated by you in your life. They just always want to write about you. They seem to write all kinds of things. And then you think, I'll read them, and I'll think, I don't think that has any basis in reality. But I thought, you're here. Is it okay if I ask? Do we set the record straight? <laughs> yes, let's talk about it those. It says, oh, well, they've been reporting a lot. You're adopting a baby. Where, where, where is this coming from? Is this... I don't, well, it's coming from, I think it was the star? I, don't, I have no idea. It doesn't, we don't do that kind of research. Yes. Oh, we no. Can't... No, yes. <laughs> We can't afford I it. Apparently, I'm adopting a child from Mexico. Right. And any truth to that? Nope. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I read an article. They said on, a mo on movie sets, people must stay. It's a rule. You must stay 20 feet away from Jennifer Aniston. And I thought, okay, I know her pretty well. Yeah. One of the friendliest people I've met. <laughs> that can't be true. No. Where do they come up with this I stuff? I don't know. They have to. I don't know. But that was, well, that was a funny one, wasn't it? They can't look me in the eye or it's to look. That's hard if you're acting with somebody. Yes. I would th I've noticed in a lot of scenes in your movies, no one's looking at you. <laughs> That's right. No, uh, I think I just need to go out more. I don't yeah. go out enough, because so then they just create the stuff. Well, the other thing, too, is I noticed uh, years ago when I worked on the old late night show, I ran into a page once who looked at me and said, oh, I'm so sorry I looked at you. And I said, what are you talking about? And they said, well, there's a rule that we're not supposed to look you in the eye. I said, what are you talking about? I'm the most emotionally needy person in the world. <laughs> they talk to me. Yeah, Danny, why isn't look anyone? I thought me. they were all mad at me. And some other page had just made it up, you know? <laughs> oh, Don't look at him. He's crazy, I guess, or something. Oh, that's so mean.